We have come to these frozen wastes on a mission for the betterment of mankind. We could build wonders, the likes of which Earth has never seen. That facility is right here, and currently it's deserted. We've had some strange reports too. Gas leak, monstrosity, scientists gone mad. This is where you come in. You'll need to find the facility. All right. Once the generators are back online, we'll send in the rest of the team and begin our energy extraction process. So that has more teeth than it should. Is it a mutant penguins, Loy? Are we fighting mutant penguins in this map? Honestly, this looks more like a Canadian geese to me. <laughs> looks like a pretty natural goose, to be honest. Let's do the Minecraft thing and beat it to death with shovels. Yep. What is up, the world of the living? My name is LoyXP, I'm here with Pixel Roofs, and we're playing the latest adventure map by... Hmm. These people. <laughs> they provided their own voiceover for our they video. They provided their them. own jingle. <laughs> which also happens to... I'm pretty sure that happens to be just their leader, like, making his voice high-pitched and going, no, screw. Anyway, also, if the, the, the funny thing is, it actually sounded like you were doing that the first time I pressed that, and I was like, why is he doing this sing-song thing? This is so unlike Sloy. It turns out they've got a button that sounds like you. It's a bit weird. It's the Sloy button. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, it's uh, the Monsters from the Ice, which previously was Monsters from the Sea, and previously was Terra Swoop Force. Yeah, ah, right. it's so in the... continuity, even though I'm pretty sure this, like, the last two maps are the prequels to the Terra, Terra Swoop forms. Right, okay, so this is the, the follow-up to the follow-up to the sequel of the prequel. Basically, yes, yeah, that's actually incredibly accurate. So, here's their <laughs> Facebook, here's their t uh, YouTube, uh, there's their Twitter, let's do this, okay? Okay, subtitles on, difficulty normal, start adventure. Oh, wow. Hello? Hello? Hi, Alan. And this is Alan Columbus from the uh, GL Arctic Expedition. If you're hearing this, you've just entered our radio frequency. Proceed into the valley to our expedition pod. Once you've arrived, you'll be greeted with hot cocoa and marshmallows. No, Alan, we're out of marshmallows. Oh, my mistake. Uh, we've ran out of marshmallows, so if you can bring some, that would be great. Alan out. Or over. Uh, Sasha, what do you say in these things? There are marshmallows in the chest. This there is are amazing. actually marshmallows. Oh, <laughs> we, we, have, we have some fancy titles coming up. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Objective, Objective updated. updated. Oh, sorry. Ride a dog sled to the GDL expedition pod in the valley. If the dog sleds are, like, multi-person, I will be absolutely... Wow. <laughs> there are YouTube... actually dog sleds. YouTube compression will do a number on this, but wow, is this gorgeous. Oh, hello. <laughs> the dogs actually make me want to pet them, which is yeah. already a plus point in my book. It's the okay, hu husky wow. puppers. Okay. Uh, I right click. <laughs> Can you right click the one I'm riding? Uh, no, doesn't look like it. These these uh, are probably horses rather than boats, unfortunately. Oh, uh, they could be two seater horses. That's I just entirely possible. Look at the tap on this barrel, Zloy. <laughs> look at the. <laughs> what even is this? I'm like, is this your <laughs> your new fancy? Like we're stuck with tripwire hooks in vanilla, but seriously, Someone, I just want to look around uh, yeah. this stuff. Someone on the on the like uh, team had a lot of like time on their hands. <laughs> <laughs> Evidently. All right. Uh, let's. Also, this uh, is I'm a hot cocoa cup. Yes, I was gonna say let's let's have a hot chocolate and then let's move it. All right. I think it's yeah. You gotta do this in a five, dude. It's yeah. It does not do the justice. Otherwise, is there any music on your side? Uh, I don't have music switched on, so I don't I have 10% music. They- they woof! They bork! <gasps> I- yeah, we're very easily amused, but, uh, yeah. What a way to start an adventure! Last time, in the Monsters of the Sea, best you got was, uh, you were riding a submarine. And then just the submarine surfaced. And that's it. And you- you didn't get to- 
pilot any dogs through the underwater areas. <laughs> yes, you didn't, you didn't get to ride uh, ride dog sleds. Is yep. this where we need to be, this pod situation? I don't know, this looks kind of less like a pod, more like a... Um, more like... Yeah, it's, it's just a truck. It's a mm -hmm. cistern truck that uh, got stuck into something. Whoa! Yeah, uh -huh, the so tuning guess... on this is tiny bit... <laughs> yeah. Just a bit unrealistic, but other than that, this is amazing. They even swapped the the moving sound to the of the snow. Oh dear. What have you done? Um, you oh. gotta see this. <laughs> Can we ride the dogs on in? Yes, uh, did you see it open? <laughs> I, I kind of caught the end of that. It I actually the opens as you approach. Like an animation with blocks. Also, uh, yeah. We, we never commented, but uh, we look absolutely fabulous. Oh, yeah, no, totally. Like, we, we've got the, the full-on, <laughs> like, the giant shades. Oh. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Open door. Oh, my gosh. Ah, the engineer. Welcome. <coughs> Welcome. Sorry, mind the cough. It is very cold. My name is Dr. Alan Columbus. Help yourself to some cocoa, and we'll get started. <laughs> this is Sasha, our receptionist. Hello. We have come to these frozen wastes on a mission for the betterment of mankind. Not that much better. Well, if it's better than it was before, then it's still better, isn't it? I suppose. <clears throat> the betterment of mankind. An old accomplice of mine, <clears throat> rival, named Ivan da Gamma, created some marvelous energy harvesting machines. With them, we could harness all the methane gases bottled up in this frozen region and collect masses of energy that are unheard of. The amount of energy could power all of GDL's future operations. We could build wonders, the likes of which Earth has never seen. We could achieve things no one has dreamed of. Huge bases, machines that walk Alan! on- Alan! Oh, what? Yes? Oh, sorry, yes. Uh, anyway, uh, that facility is right here. And currently, it's deserted. <clears throat> Completely empty. No one knows why, of course. There has been some theories, gas leak, monstrosities, scientists gone mad, but they're all as likely as fairies and goblins. <laughs> We've had some strange reports too, but they're... Uh, I digress. The real problem is that we don't know why it shut down, and we don't know if it ever actually worked. Or where Ivan is. Uh, yes, yes, where Ivan... But the most important part is the energy. This is where you come in. Follow me. All right. Uh, I First, like the fact that... <laughs> you'll need to find the facility. All right. We have a tracker <laughs> that will help you. Uh, I made it myself. Once you're in the facility, do a quick search and see if you can turn on the generators. If it's all safe, Sasha and I will join you. I'd come sooner, but I'm not one for the cold. Yes, you are quite old. I said cold, Sasha. Anyway. Once the generators are back online, we'll send in the rest of the team and begin our energy extraction process. Help yourself to some cocoa on the way out. No, Sasha, stop that. We have to rationate. We're running out. Don't take any cocoa on your way out. Yeah, follow me. Okay. I'm Is this guy going to keep interrupting me every time I talk? Because <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, yes. Also, uh, I'm gonna stealing little... all of their cocoa. <laughs> Do it. I've got the marshmallow still, so... Awesome. Uh, here, you have, a party. have some. So, nice. I just quickly want to comment that, first and foremost, I'm pretty sure we, I met this guy in the previous map, the Monsters of the Deep, and he was just a regular villager in a white coat. Uh-huh. They've clearly, like, <laughs> they've upscaled his whole his whole look right now. Yeah. This has to be, a, a like, a sequel to that, not a prequel, because... Ages were not kind to this person. Sasha, on the other hand. Uh, oh. I found an Easter egg, Sloy. <laughs> I figured. Stranger I like the, things I like from the, IDC. There's freaking Celeste style like sound effects in this. That was yeah. totally like the sound you get when you pick up a crystal heart in Celeste. I love it. Stranger things from IDC is what it says. Should what we play we this? Is there a, is there like a tape we can play this in? I'm guessing like this has to be like the retextured, uh, you know, disc. 
So yeah, we need some I'm like, sort of now what, what is a music, uh, what is a jukebox, please? <laughs> I have no idea. We will have to guess. Maybe he will explain, like, later. But before we can, like, go and talk to him, before he can rudely interrupt us again and again, I just wanted to note that, like, Sasha too was looking mighty different, but they kept at the very least her looking somewhat like a villager. Yeah, Sasha looks like a South Park character to me right now. <laughs> I don't know if it's like the Parker or what, but yeah, it's yeah. the Parker. It's the Parker. Oh look, there's a hot another hot cocoa in this microwave. <laughs> I was gonna say the microwave is here. Yes. Who does that? Who microwaves your? Just seriously. What you call it? I'm just really good at finding these things. What can you I say? You really are. Wow. We have a tape about Sasha's cold. Uh, I feel like this is going to be important. I'm going to take it with us. Amazing. There are 14 of these things to find, Sloy. You need to look around for these chests. I'm pretty sure not all 14 of them are in the same, you know, <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're all going to be in this base. <laughs> yeah. Ah, we need to progress through the story. Maybe we'll so I, eventually get a tape recorder somewhere. I was gonna say I wasn't listening this to what that guy was saying. You it's, oh. way, and you'll probably need these. I've always found a wrench to be most helpful when I'm hitting things. Well, uh, best of luck. We are now Gordon Freeman. <clears throat> yep, pretty much so. Uh, so we got a radio tracker, which I have no idea what it does, and a wrench, which I guess they just gave us to. What are you? Like, You're a lectern, obviously. But that's, wow. It's a lectern. Sta standard, like, uh, the, the the repeater and the comparator are always computer parts. Yep. I love this lectern, honestly. It's like the least lectern-looking thing lectern I ever saw. Oh, absolutely, yeah. That's the like, most that... you can do with a lectern without actually changing its model. So, yeah, I'm impressed. <laughs> the way the guy is just standing at the top of the stairs going, ah, and watching us. That's, that's pretty <laughs> great. All right. I'm sorry if this, like, so far has been just us being, like, super impressed with what's going on here. But to be fair, it is super impressive, so hopefully that comes across. <laughs> yes. I wonder if we can just drive across this on our sleds. No, doesn't seem like we can. Nah. Nah, there's no passage uh, back to the sled, so I guess we'll have to walk. There's an outhouse over here. Do you think that has an audio recording in it? And if so, do we really want to play it? <laughs> Of well, course. Well, it doesn't. Ha it's got a book instead. Do you want? Do you want to read the book? Yeah. A little sure, bit of light sure. reading. Okay. Also, the the music has just kicked in for me, by the way. Yeah. It's for my dramatic reading. <clears throat> Pooping log. Entry number one. Actually, no. I'm 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 making it up. Ways to deal with complicated list of ingredients on a shampoo bottle. Write down what's really bothering you, see how much you are contributing to the problem, ask yourself if you're confused, talk to the shampoo bottle, try therapy, if you're still not happy, drop it. Buy a new shampoo and repeat step 1 through 6. How to know when your conditioner is right for you. Oh dear. I, um... I need to just get like, nature documentary style shots of this valley with this music playing in the background, by the way. Oh, okay, I'll shut up then. No, that's no, fine. <laughs> go, and, go and frolic in the snow, Zloy. Make it look like you're having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, there's a log. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a log. <laughs> yeah, you'd think, but like... There's but an explanation. How have they done this? Yeah. Kill log, get coal. Whoa, okay. That I get <laughs> that five died Arctic faster than I expected sap. it to. That's uh interesting. Yeah. Uh, hello? Uh, I forgot to mention that the tracker will start beeping once you get close enough to the facility. So keep a lookout and pay attention to the beeps. Alright. The tracker will turn on once you get close enough. Okay, so yeah. I guess we just gotta wander around and explore, which to be fair, this map looks like it's very much worth exploring, so... Yeah. I would much prefer um, something that's not annoying as my locator device, mind you, mm -hmm. but... 
Yeah. It's pretty cool that they keep giving you the objectives as these little kind of data pads, though. That's that's neat. That that keeps you on track while allowing you to get off the beaten path a little bit. Yeah. In the absence of any kind of, like, you know, quest book or something. Absolutely. We should think about it. I played map with quest books. This is kind of more efficient, honestly. Mm-hmm. Kind of harder to get confused. Don't watch me. I'll still manage. Oh, look. There's yeah. a skeleton in here. Of something sizable and looking like a... It, this is a skeleton of a moose. Thanks. Oh my gosh. Yep. <laughs> I saw a video the other day of a moose walking down the median of a highway. They are so big. So this is actually kind of, as far as player scale goes, pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Wowzers. Okay, yeah. We gotta stop freaking out about the attention to detail. Obviously it's present. Yes, yeah, well well done them. Let's mm -hmm. actually try and find objectives now. So I assume that thing up there on the mountain is this facility we're trying to get to. Uh, I'm guessing so, but I was wondering what this tugboat is all about. <laughs> I think this is just there, like the moose skeleton, to look a bit abandoned. Yeah, but you know, logs! We gotta find logs! <laughs> Must achieve coal! Yeah. Though obviously because uh, I was the first one to point out the tugboat and not you, uh, there's not gonna be a log in it. <laughs> yes, we've got to we've got to search everything to try yeah. and find the tapes. Can't seem to get up there. Um, anything in the back? I on I almost got it. Nope, <laughs> I don't got it. Parkour. Yep. We cannot drive this truck somewhere away. Still have to do the Hello? hard way. Oh. What? Uh, uh, guess what, Zloy? What? I've been here in the Gold Nord for three days. Small village people with small brains. Gold is just going good. Food is not good. It's better in Belgium. Alright, there we go. We have somebody saying Belgium is better than this, but uh, I don't know if Belgium has this level of, like, graphical fidelity, so... <laughs> have you been to Belgium? I have not. I have. I have been to Belgium very, very briefly. Is it uh, not nearly when... as square as this map advertises? <laughs> I think it's uh, it's a little bit more rounded than this, Belgium, but... Uh... But hey, I was only... I was there for a while when I was younger. I was there for, like, a, a week or so, I think, so... Yeah, I don't remember much about it. I, in the meantime, found another microwave. It has nothing in it. Oh, shame. Yeah. Oh. Crazy ah, you did it! You fish. found one! Lights yep. go out for the first time. No one leaping. But luck. I see eyes in the snow. Strange fur from the mountains. And strange tracks, too. The wolves are scared to go out and pull the sled. Crazy scientists will be the end of us. Mark my words. Yeah, they're not rolling their R's. Uh, <laughs> yes. Not nearly enough to be Russian. <laughs> do, you, do you want to provide them with another line read? Um, uh, let's let's take a look. There's a few more of these kind of um, pod-style dwellings here yeah. and there. These are facilities, like, the one log you found is obviously from somebody who's the scientist. I The one I lo found seems to be from one of the locals. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, considering that and the fact that the map says Ushanka Overpass or something like that, this seems to be, uh, yeah, supposed to be taking place in Russia, which... Excuse me for a moment, uh, let me open the window. Yeah, yeah, sure, definitely Russia. Definitely looks exactly <laughs> like, like it. Um, yeah, repair station. This looks like something out of a Lego set. <laughs> There's just the, <laughs> just the bright red and yellow colors just makes makes me feel very like... Oh, armor repaired. Oh, apparently I have armor. I didn't realize that. The, well, I thought they yeah. Just given Did us, you like, think this is just a part of your own skin? I was thinking it was just like overlays somehow. I don't know. Like They've done so much clever stuff with this map already that I just feel kind of... I yeah. don't know. Oh, wowzers. This Look is at a... this popper! It's a wolf on a seesaw. Apparently I'm heavier than the wolf. <laughs> Does that mean I'm a witch? Oh, look. He left. Okay. So for once, for one time, I invent Pixel Reforver. 
they make a map that's not pure adventure map, like straightforward one, but one in which you have to go around and explore. Yeah. And I found a villager teddy bear, which is one out of nice. ten items found. I found cold tales for children. Visit the archives uh, to see all the collectibles. All right, all right, all right, I will. This is like Skyrim with the amount of, like, books and stuff that you can find that don't contribute to the plot in any way. Which, honestly, I love it. Perfectly yeah, yeah, fine. It's, it's great. All, all, about, all about the depth and, and detail and everything. Do you want me to read The Pelican and the Cod? It is six pages long. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think we'll save that for another time, shall we? Okay, did we ever go into this bright yellow thing? Right uh, I went into a bright yellow thing. Which bright yellow thing are you talking about? Uh, right next to the house that we were in. Oh, I've not been into that one yet, no. Okay, me neither. Also, boy, do they have a lot of hot cocoa. In barrels, for some reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, the best way to keep it hot. Uh, I do not see anything particularly openable in here, aside from all these, these trap doors and stuff. Yeah, there was one shulker box. It, it have was empty. Okay, I, 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 if they've reskinned shulker boxes, then I don't know what they look like. Yep. Yeah, yes, they did, and no, they, no, you don't. But Beli oh, look! believe it or not, I'm not quite in the habit of walking around right clicking on stuff yet. <laughs> okay. Well then, nothing we can do in here so far. Yeesh. Let's try climbing, or let's go to that green one with the what you call it on it. Yeah, yeah, we haven't been into the 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 domed building yet. Well, I imagine this is probably just another architectural detail in this village. I think we're meant to be heading up to the uh, facility up there with the yeah. aerials and stuff on it. Oh, this is <laughs> this is really nice inside. It Big fan of what they've done with all of the like wood textures and stuff. Yeah, it's they're doing a lot with a l very little by adding like a lot. So they're doing a lot with a lot is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> there's, there's a recycling bin back here. Yeah, <laughs> being for, for all the confessions and look, uh, <laughs> candles and stuff. Everything's super good. Uh, we got a ladder to a trapdoor. Yep. No Quasimodo up here, but... Okay, that was way too menial a thing to get an achievement for. <laughs> I mean, we had literally no other reason to go up here, so I am actually thinking that that is pretty, pretty smart. So this be the graveyard then. Harry Fullman always ate the leftovers. Really cross, don't drive angry. <laughs> John Sorry. fell over. Clans Doris, never late, wrong place, wrong time. Yep. Oh dear. John oh fell dear. over, clumsiness was his downfall. Di Diana still more, if only she moved more. Can you feel like the rating of this map dropping every time we read one of those? <laughs> the puns are uh, a little bit extra. Not yeah, gonna lie. just the perceived value of this map rapidly plummeting. As we discover <laughs> more and more puns. Um, there's a box with a question mark on top of this. How do we oh, get Oh, there is? There? Yeah. You can see it specifically if you jump on this gravestone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, time for some, some hardcore parkour. Hard, hardcore, if you will. Okay. Uh, yep. You and there it. we go. Hey. Old medal! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Didn't make it one letter to the gold one. Yeah. Okay, red build. Pretty much searched. Gotta go deeper, gotta go higher. Uh, gotta probably go behind these... Those. See? Do the, we, I, the, thought, the I thought we had to go up to the... The, the thing on the mountain that's got the aerial and stuff. I don't know. I tried to go to the fences right now. It is not really possible. So I guess we really don't have any other chance than go to the, like, the one on the right. So, again, Nox crew pulling, like, one of the interesting tricks on us. Where 
It does feel like we're freeform exploring when in reality we're going to the to our linear path. What was that noise? I'm afraid that's the radio tracker beeping. <laughs> it's it's the radio tracker beeping, but it's that guy just like talking yes, through it. Yes, it's that guy see, saying beep. Yeah, it's like you're you're basically getting warmer. Beep. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I I cannot believe, I cannot believe they they went for it. Hey, look, well, the other things, they, the other smart thing they've done is provide these posts, which are clearly kind of signposts for like you should go this way. Yeah. It's like the slalom poles on a ski course. It's like, go between these things and you'll be fine. Which is actually pretty Beep. smart. Mm -hmm. Do you hear this idiot? <laughs> Why do I get a, a ZF vibe from this guy? I, I don't know. I, I, I'm just Beep. flabbergasted that I managed to take a device that is like traditionally annoying in these video games. With like something beeping as you approach. And made it even more annoying somehow. They found one way of doing that. Oh wow. Beep success. <laughs> Beep success. Yeah. There we go. We have found the facility. Is this where the stuff starts coming out and trying to kill us? I presume so. Yep. Wrench is out. Uh, let's go kill some whatevers. Hang on, hang on a second, they've made snow stairs. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. <laughs> uh, I like how that and not the entire letter D dropping, which is like, yeah, falling, which is not something that even is possible mm -hmm. in Minecraft, triggers your illegal, illegal sense. If you're gonna screenshot and that snow stair and put it on cursed mine, uh, mine <laughs> I will. Hello? Can you hear me? I mean, uh, it's, it's Alan. I, um, uh, we, we spotted on your tracker that your atmospheric pressure gauge and your bio-rotary temperature has reduced, which must mean you found the facility. Well done. Though it's still too cold for our operations to move in. Find the entrance, then once you're inside, keep a lookout for any generators. Once the power is on, the heating should return. Get inside, then find a generator. Oh, uh, I forgot. Uh, over. Oh, wait. Uh, I'm also sending Sasha over to help you. She should be with you soon. Yeah, sure, she's gonna be a good, great help. I was gonna say, so, so Kenny from South Park is on her way. What's, uh... Um... I'm very unenthused about her presence, what uh, like overall, because back in Monsters of the Deep, she had like all of two lines, uh -huh. and that was her <laughs> contribution to that map. So I'm you expecting can tell. her to be the villain of this map. Don't let me down, Nox Crew. <laughs> Just plot twist. She still will only have two lines. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, this here is like a, that has an arrow in it that's pointing down. What the... W okay, pigs. Yep. I, I've lost the visual on the pigs. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Uh, right. So... So that has more teeth than it should. Is it a mutant penguins, lawyer? Are we fighting mutant penguins in this map? Um... Honestly, this looks more like a Canadian geese to me. <laughs> or like uh, leg regular geese. I have a phobia of the geese. <laughs> Looks like a pretty natural goose, to be honest. Let's do the Minecraft thing and beat it to death with shovels. Yep. Nailed it. Great job. Awesome. Those were not shovels. Um, yeah, well, before we go whatever. down into the facility and like have to deal with whatever waits down there. Uh, whatever mutant this, uh, penguins right await us. Hey, Elsa's you... glove. Oh gosh, now, now we can sing that one song from Frozen. Actually, let's not. Let's never sing that one song from Frozen. This shall be my weapon for the end of the map. <laughs> you just kind of like smack people around the face like you're challenging yep. them into a duel. <laughs> well, you say people, but probably penguins. Probably Unless penguins. Sasha really turns out to be the main villain. Okay, you ready to go in? Uh, I'm still exploring some of this other stuff. I want to find more things that go ding. <laughs> things that go ding is now my objective for this map. You, really. <laughs> you've outplayed me by like four 
audio logs. <laughs> I think I need to I need to find more. Uh, but no, there's some containers and stuff around here. This is all feeling very aperture science, by the way. Oh, absolutely. Except I'm pretty sure they never did experiments on penguins. But, uh, you know, it's the first time for everything. So I think, yeah, that most of this stuff is sealed off with, like, iron doors and stuff. So I'm pretty certain I'm not supposed to be over here. Let's let's go into the facility and see what's down there, huh? Yeah, that's my point, really. I was thinking that maybe once we activate the generator, all of those doors will open and we'll be able to explore this properly. Ah, maybe. Maybe you're right. Oh, one yeah, of so... those Ubisoft uh, slash GTA 5 things where... You can find stuff, but only if you go through the story entirely. If if I reverse the uh, the position of this in the item frame, does it then go up? <laughs> <laughs> like, is this the, is this the, the lift? The entire is that map works? flips. Yeah, yeah. Like, what have you done? These gravity experiments have gone too far. Okay, so there's a drop off down and... here. Uh huh. Oh, okay, right. So that's point of no return for us then. Yep, there's a, a lot of points of no return. I'm pretty sure they've sent us to suicide mission. <laughs> yes. Ah, you're the engineer. You're the one who can take all the fall damage. Yep. We are t we are literally the fall guys here, Zloy. I hope you're. <laughs> oh wow. Hope you're okay with that. So I'm I just gonna be over just, here yep. getting some cinematic shots of whatever this is. Oh, Ivan's office is this way. Did he mention a guy called Ivan? Was that his they like did. rival dude? Yeah, that I'm pretty sure that was the uh, the the rival dude. Simply because uh. we haven't heard any other names. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Also, he's na he's named Ivan, and it's set in Russia. So, uh, <laughs> sure, go for so it. So the proper pronunciation will be Ivan. Ivan, yes, we will refer to him as Ivan from now on. Thank you very much. Oh no! Just get get the thing. There we go, hey. Draga, Drugar, my uh, my little pet. Here we go. <laughs> so You'll this... be the storage for the tapes. I'll be the storage for the items. I was gonna say, was this the, is this tape recorded by Daenerys Targaryen or? Um, yep, yeah, looks like that. If, if we find a tape recorder, like a tape thing to listen on. Oh, there's a there's a yeah thing. Something will be placed in here. Yeah, we'll find a tape player. We'll put it in, like, that safe will only say Dracarys and we'll instantly both die of fire damage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm expecting that. The hot cocoa will not save us. Yep. Uh, so we are looking for... Oh, you found something else. I found the fridge teeth. <laughs> that would be me. Which, yeah, um, not really in that. Although, I, like, I gotta say, I do appreciate usually flavor text of any kind, but... The fridge thief has six pages in it. Yeah, you're like, I don't need to read six pages. I'm of sure it's being like, hilarious, the worst plot. And research log number 42. Okay, this actually does sound. Yeah, no, it's utterly pointless. Um, <laughs> yeah. Zloy, I, uh, I used one of the high tech computer monitors to read my book. You are a genius. <laughs> We, we, we all wish to be as smart as you someday. Hey, look, worms and cottage cheese. <laughs> the uh, potent combination. Yep. My thing about the audio logs is like, yeah, how are we meant to play them exactly? <laughs> <laughs> I've tried right-clicking with them in my hand and nothing, so... There has to be something at the very least making it work. But holy like, <laughs> poop! The sci the scientist guy didn't give me a Walkman, so I'm I'm all at sea here. Okay, we have Bookworm Tendencies by Alan Columbus. So that's the guy we were speaking to earlier. Mm -hmm. So he was here at one point. This whole place is a lot larger than I originally gave it credit for. Absolutely. It's the cozy, but uh, yeah. Oh, danger generator room, and uh, I can't open it. Yeah, so that, that, the, in theory, we need to be turning on a button inside here somewhere, but we need to figure out how first. Can I drive this thing yes. into the... Can, can I forklift, please? I yeah, think the can idea... I just stab a forklift into the side of this and, uh, yeah. I think we might need to get up through this um, gantry thing up here. Oh, you can actually up 
Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, there seems to be a staircase made of hastily assembled bits that is uh, allowing you to uh, parkour your way into this room. It says danger. I kind of believe it. Well, yeah. Well, at the very least, we have at least one glove to operate electric uh, machinery with. <laughs> yes. I'll stay up here just in case you get swarmed by mutant penguins when you turn yeah. it on. Um, have fun looking at me dying. Whoa! It is powering up! Yeah, there it goes! Oh, it has like little animation in there! <laughs> I was gonna say, that's... That's pretty cool looking. That's that pretty is, cool looking. Yeah, that's absolutely amazing. And there's also a, a great use of a beacon. Further. What? I said a great use of a beacon. I think yeah. one, of the, one of the things that always fascinates me about these maps is the textures. They're like, no, the vanilla thing works absolutely fine for what we want <laughs> it to be. A gold block yeah. there and a beacon there. I mean, chances are that they first built it like with vanilla blocks and then just felt like, you know what, we're going to retexture half of those. Yeah. All right, I think it is probably safe for me to descend, so I will. Well, I found the rest of my magic. Ah, there. What? <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. Here are minerals that should be in Minecraft. Number one, <laughs> this <laughs> lovely rainbow. Number thing. two, locks up. Yeah, thank you, Pix. There's Evandium back there, mm -hmm. and does that say hexite? I thought that said noxite for a second. Hexite. Although, I wouldn't put it past them to make up a material in their own name. Yes. Okay. Upgrades need resources. You can deposit them at the bank. Fill the bars to the top and your upgrade will be crafted. See the resources required in front of the stations. Oh, so there's actually stuff you can buy in this. Wow, so that's the point of having sap. Yeah, I guess so. So there's actually, yeah, materials that you can, you can acquire. Okay, cool. And... How far away? We need four sap, four crystallite, one Ivanium, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and you can deposit it over here, and it seems like if you if you oh. right-click on that, it will like fill up a gauge, and then you can use that to upgrade your stuff, basically. Okay, I, ha I got 16. Nice. Wow. That's, that's pretty cool. I got another 12 on me, so yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. So interesting. Hexite, Ivandium, and yeah, Hexite and Ivandium is what we need. Crist no crystallite on this one. Please stop, you know, actually, yeah, that, that does look nice. <laughs> but if I turn it upside down, does that mean we need less resources? <laughs> okay, door open. Oh, wow, okay. There's, there's actual actual rolling Hello. shutters in there. Ah! Wow, this must be the IDC operations room. Thank you for turning on the generator. I'd forgotten what it feels like to be warm. <clears throat> Anyway, it says here the facility needs all wings powered to be fully operational. We need the generators in the excavation wing, the eco wing, and the restricted wing. So, all of them. Well, the doors to two aren't powered yet, but we can get into the excavation wing. Go and turn on the generator while I sit up here. Yeah, sure, except, you know, when you said that it says here, I looked and no, doesn't say there any, like, I'm pretty sure she's just making stuff up. I'm pretty sure she is reading the pelican and the cod because I've yep. left the book there for her. <laughs> Enjoy that, Sasha. We'll be back. Yeah. Um, wing A, B, C axis. All right. Oh. Jump scare sound effect. Hello. So, yeah, for those unaware, for those that who haven't played the previous map, haha, pixelers, um, <laughs> the... Basically, the whole story of uh, Monsters of the Sea, Monsters of the Deep, was about you swimming to generators, turning them on for the facility underwater to walk. And spoiler alert, every single generator was right around the boss. Right, okay. So, I think you can put two together. 